Hello everyone, my name is PJ, and welcome to The Void. Today's video is dedicated to Terry Scott Taylor, who composed every song we're going to listen to. Taylor has a very unique style among musicians, and I can see why Doug Tenapel insists on working with him on every Never Heard game. As you can probably already guess, this video will not include songs from Claim and Gun Hockey, since Taylor didn't write those, and they're awful anyway. There also aren't any songs from Boombots. Anyway, these are my top 10 favorite songs from the Neverhood series. <laughs> Triangle Square is not a notable song as far as its implementation is concerned. It only plays in one room in which nothing important happens. Most players will hear it for about 10 seconds per run. But I still like this song a lot. It's pretty catchy. The Earthworm Jim influence is strong with this one, and the song also bears some resemblance to those from newer Rayman games. Despite its upbeat nature, it is the theme of a level full of deadly pitfalls, long thorns, and flaming skulls. There's a big secret in this game that I just found out about. After Willy falls from the Neverhood, he won't be able to send you letters anymore. Instead, Clog starts sending you letters, antagonizing you and inviting you to his castle. His letters are even on different colored paper and get their own theme. It's a bizarre and ingenious song that intentionally uses microphone blowout to make it sound louder. Loading, 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 loading,
Elevated Structure of Terror is the song that plays during the level Elevated Structure of Terror, which features an elevated structure of terror. Lyrics include the phrase Elevated Structure of Terror, and most importantly, it also contains... Although the final area of the game is Clog's Castle, and there is a song called Clog's Castle, the actual final dungeon theme is Scat Radio. I don't know why, but out of all the songs Taylor has ever written, I feel like this is the one that most sounds like Clay. It just really reminds me of those really old cartoons back when they were first starting to move to color, which are desaturated to shit when you try to watch them on old VHS tapes. <laughs> Even people who've never played any of the Neverhood games have heard this song. 
It's probably the most famous song in the series just because of how bizarre and unsettling it is. It's the song that plays in all the bonus rooms you can access at the end of every level by collecting all the swirly cues. Words can't really describe it, so take it away, Terry. Here's a little bonus room, cause I know you've had it tough. And here's a little bonus tune about collecting real cool stuff. Yes, here's a little bonus room where you can play. Don't be frightened, don't run away. You can linger, cause I'm your video friend. Think of me as a father figure with a hand to land. Here's a little bonus room where you don't have to worry. Take your sweet time, you need not hurry. Oh, you're looking incredible, you're the bomb. And me, I'm kind of like your dad and a little like your mom. There are no monsters here. Hey, wait, look over there. <laughs> I was just kidding. Don't be scared. And when you turn this game off in the real world once again, you won't have to play make-believe or try to pretend. Cause I'll be right there when you open in your hand cause I'm your little invisible musical friend so show me to your pets or show me to your pals you really will impress every nifty guy and gal show them you're individual show them you are bold besides I get residuals for every game that's sold, I'm your little invisible musical friend for life. I'll never leave you. Theme Armacrog. No, not theme of Armacrog, just theme Armacrog. When I heard this song in the game's opening, it got me really excited to play it. To bet the game itself ended up being pretty mediocre, but this song still kicks ass. It's very 80s, and reminds me of Flash Gordon and Josh Kirby, which were likely inspirations. <laughs> The main theme of Skull Monkeys is also its catchiest tune, and you get to hear it after every level during the results screen. It's also the theme for the level shards, a crystalline cave full of spikes, fast moving platforms, and some really tricky jumps. Oh, 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 
Clayman's theme is the first song you hear after starting the Neverhood, and it sets the tone for the whole game. It's not overly bombastic, and it's not exactly calm either. It's whimsical. The kind of song you'd hear when walking down a busy road to pick up a couple items from the corner store. It perfectly fits our simple-minded protagonist. Before moving on to the number 1 spot, let's do some honorable mentions. The number 11 spot would have gone to Southern Front Porch Whistler, another well-liked song in the fandom and the only one I know of to get a lyrical fan cover. Clayman can even be heard whistling it in one of Skull Monkey's cutscenes. Number 12 goes to Ollie Oxenfree. It's a good song, I just don't like it as much as the others. And now for my number 1 spot, which may surprise most people. It's not one of the more popular songs, and I unfortunately can't find any remixes of it. It's a really underrated song.
This song is so unlike any of the others. It's genuinely intimidating, and it really helps the implications of how dangerous Clog is. It would be perfect to explore Clog's castle too, if it actually played there, that is. Instead, the areas that actually have music use scat radio for some reason. It only plays in the elevator for like two seconds, and during the climax. I partially blame this as the reason for its lack of attention. Well, there you have it. Those are my top 10, well, technically 12, songs from the neighborhood. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe, leave a comment, and share it with your friends. Until next time, I'll be here, in the darkness, quietly awaiting your return. Oh, <laughs>